Hi, my name is Aliyah Lee Kaw. I'm a chef, I'm a cookbook author, and I'm the creator of Easy Edible Adventures. And this is... Hi, my name is Asya. I'm going to be helping my own cook today. Welcome to Isa's World of Cooking, where food is love. So today, Asya, we're going to learn all about the science of... Cream chemistry. Cream chemistry. We're doing cream chemistry today. And I'm really excited about it, excited about it, because one of your favorite things is made from cream. Whipped cream. Right, whipped and cream. Also, it has to do with science, and that's one of my favorite specials in school. Yes. So I really like science too. Yes, you do. Hold on, look at me. All right. Mom, mom, we gotta clean her face for this. So, anyway, <laughs> you have stuff all over your face. <laughs> Today we're gonna to learn how to make a few things from heavy cream. This is just your store-bought heavy cream. And heavy cream is sort of the thickened part of the milk. It's the, really the fattest part of the milk that rises to the top usually um, over the course of a day if you're just milking a cow. And you can skim it off and use it to make all kinds of wonderful things. Yeah, I like finding those little cream bits in my milk so I can just like slurp them up. It's so fun to eat them. Right. So the great thing about heavy cream is there's a few things you can do with it. One of the things that we're going to do today is learn how to make whipped cream from heavy cream. So most people know whipped cream out Yay! of this. Yay! Okay, so <laughs> we are whipped cream. You see what it is. And whipped cream is actually what you call a foam. And a foam in science is a substance where gas bubbles are incorporated into another substance and sort of change the texture of it. In this scenario, heavy cream is going to be the liquid, and we're going to whip it until air gets incorporated into it. At first, you're just going to see a few bubbles, but then it gets stabilized by its own fat, and heavy cream is about 30% fat. And so that fat is going to help stabilize it and create the foam. So I'm going to start with about a pint of heavy cream, and we're going to just pour it right into this uh, stand mixer. Now, I, I guess that might be cheating, but I'm using a stand mixture, mixer with a whisk attachment um, because it takes a lot of energy to whisk. Can you put this in the recycling, please? But, like, how is that not fair? Like, well, that's not like you're cheating. Because you can use your hand and whisk by hand if you need to. Um, and you can actually do it by hand. And in culinary what? school, I had to do it by that's hand. That's so cool! I know. So, I here we go. We're going to start out and we're going to just whisk it. Ah. All right. So we made whipped cream and, you know, you can see how thick it is. And you can A nice make it dollop. Out. And, you know, typically if I'm making regular whipped cream, I'd add a little vanilla, maybe a little confectioner sugar to sweeten it. So this is unsweetened whipped cream, but you can taste it if you want. And you can talk about its texture. It's foamy, right? Mm -hmm. There's air in it. It's light. It's fluffy. Yeah, you should really add some sugar to it. Sugar to it. <laughs> so this is just plain, plain whipped cream. But now, Asya, what happens if we keep whipping it? That's what we're going to find out. So, any guesses? <laughs> it will turn into sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. See how thick it's getting? It's it so cool. Okay, Asya, do you want to tell everyone what, if you continue to whip cream, what happens? What do you make? Don't say yes. Um, when you can when you continue to whip whipped cream, you make butter. We made butter, and so what happened was all the fat globules started to stick together, and what ended up happening is you separated sort of the fat from the liquid buttermilk, um, and that's what we have here. See that? Whoa! So what we're gonna try and do is take out as much of the fat as we can and drain off the liquid. How are we going to do that? Put and it in some sort it, of ice water? Yeah, we're going to put it in water to solidify it. 
into ice water. Whoa, so you're making it disappear and dissolve? Yeah. So Why are you making your butter disappear? No, that's going to help harden it up. You know how you see butter sticks? Yeah. That's what's going to make a butter stick. Hmm. Right? Like, that's how you then do. why does dissolving mean mixing something with water to make it disappear? Like if you mix grass, it disappear. Well, that's different. is really squeeze all of the liquid we can. Because liquid is what's going to harbor bacteria, and you just want the fat. You don't want bacteria. No, you don't want any of the bacteria. No, you don't. Okay, so we're going to squeeze out as much as possible. Whoa. Right? Whoa, that looks, instead of a butter stick, that looks it's like not. a butter ball. I know, right? All right, so. You can see here, we have, we squeeze out more of that water, as much of that water. And we have butter! And we've made butter. I thought you were going to have a bigger reaction. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Asya? Well, you've made butter, and now you can yeah. cook with it. You can make a little, hmm. your butter stick out of it. Let's make it like a 3D, like, like if you cut it in half, you can make a 3D cube. Okay. What well, anyway. Thank you guys for joining us today, learning our cream chemistry. Cream chemistry. Remember that food is love. <laughs>